living by the South China Sea. Generations of fishermen have relied on the ocean for their livelihood, faithfully following the traditions passed down by their ancestors. I started going out to sea with my father in 1991, when I was just 15. We've always believed the South China Sea is our ancestral sea. Our forefathers have fished here for generations. The water in the South China Sea is crystal blue. The coral reefs below are clearly visible. The first time I saw them when I was 15 years old, I was stunned by their beauty. Beneath the waves, coral reefs provide shelter and food for countless marine creatures, turning these waters into some of the richest fishing grounds on Earth. To fishermen here, a successful trip means a full catch. But they also understand the importance of harvesting wisely to protect the ecosystem's future. Still, these waters haven't always remained so peaceful. Fishing in the Nancha Islands for about a month, we can usually bring back about five tons of fish. But compared to older generations, our catch has dropped. Coral bleaching is damaging the habitats, and some foreign fishermen using explosives are making it even worse. I've seen some foreign fishermen use dynamite, blasting everything in sight. Some also use electric shock gear. I saw it with my own eyes, and it really upset me. This kind of destruction will ruin the livelihoods of the next generation. Protecting coral reefs isn't something a single fisherman or one country can do alone. It takes shared commitment from all coastal nations to exchange knowledge, technologies and solutions. And here on the seabed, moves are underway. China is actively working with neighboring countries in the South China Sea to combat illegal coral trade and implement fishing moratoriums. Scientists play a key role in these efforts, participating in global coral reef symposia and collaborating with international peers. China has also built strong partnerships with countries like the U.S., France, and Australia through lab exchanges and joint research projects. As a signatory to the Paris Agreement, China has launched a series of climate strategies and actions that contribute to coral reef protection. Scientists say they're doing their best to restore the reefs and working on the range of methods to save corals. We've strengthened foundational research on coral reef ecosystems and bleaching mechanisms. We are cultivating heat-resistant coral species and studying how corals co-evolve with symbiotic organisms. In reef restoration, we guide practitioners to use coral nurseries and transplantation techniques. New technologies from underwater sensors to AI are making coral reef monitoring and management more digital, intelligent, and scientific than ever before. However, scientists worldwide acknowledge that their efforts alone are far from sufficient to preserve the reefs. We're not going to build entirely new reefs with just restoration techniques alone. We need to have immediate um, um, action on climate change um, and significant action if we're gonna save coral reefs. For millions of years, we have flourished in these warm, clear waters, sheltering life, nurturing abundance. Alone, we are fragile, but together, with care and wisdom, there is still a future where we thrive. Coral reefs are more than just marine landscapes. They're nurseries of life, protectors of our coasts, and silent witnesses to humanity's choices. Their whispers carry both a warning and a hope. With every act of preservation, we weave a future where generations to come can still hear their song.